bash on higher learning, volume two, woo, 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 woo. Hmm. Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, the Internet's busiest music nerd. It's time for an album review. Uh, hey, new haircut. You like it? You like this? Oh, hey, looking sharp. Thanks, Cal. Uh, sometimes I, sometimes I like Cal Chichesta. Down there in the D box, some remixes on the needledrop.com that you could stream, download, show your friends, show your mom, whatever. I don't care. Go check them out. And also linked down there is this mixtape, which you can download for free. The new Fast Sean mixtape, Higher Learning, Volume 2. Fast Sean is a Fresno, California rapper who's been tearing ass all over the mixtape circuit for a while now. This is his 10th. Released one of my favorite rap albums of 2008, Boy Meets World. And he has a new album supposed to be coming out this year? Next year? Not sure. The Ecology, which is also titled after my favorite song on Boy Meets World, which has really gotten me excited for what might be on it. But still, between Boy Meets World and now, this guy's been releasing quite a few tapes, and that's kind of kept me quiet, kept me from freaking out and wondering where the hell the ecology is. Often hip-hop mixtapes don't have the best production, the best mixing, a lot of lifted beats all over the place. Usually a lot of features meant to just make connections and network in the hip-hop community. So some inconsistency is kind of expected. With over an hour of material on this thing, the producers of this mixtape know that you're gonna pick your favorite songs, stick to those, which is why there are DJ Rockstar and Ill Will watermarks over every track. Plus mixtapes can be a great place for artists to experiment with different sounds and just spit on beats you wouldn't normally hear them spit on. Like the opening track here, Fashan, this beat that was built out of We Are the Champions by Queen. And for me, my favorite track on this entire thing is the Higher remix, where Fashan spits on my favorite track from Kanye's new LP, Dark Fantasy. And in my opinion, he kills it. And he also does a little something over uh, Usher's Papers, which he kind of turns into a weed rap. There's a wide range of sounds and styles all over this tape. I'm not really a huge fan of some of the sugary moments here, and a lot of the hooks kind of come off undercooked. As much as I do like the verses on Just Another Day, Nothing for the Radio, Weed Rap, Big Dreams, the hooks there, the choruses, they just kind of seem like they are there, and that's it. They're not really enhancing the song for me, but just kind of making this breaking point between the verses. But still, I admire the fact that no matter where you put Fashan, he feels comfortable. He sounds comfortable. He's got a lot of versatility, and I feel like that doesn't go appreciated enough. To me, it's like one of his biggest assets outside of his strong flow and personality. On his past mixtapes, there's always been a moment here, a moment there that seems kind of out of character for him where he's either rapping about the club or spitting on a rock sound, a pop sound. And here he's not shy about that either. Actually, I think he kind of ventures out of his comfort zone a little bit more with a really heavy use of R&B hooks, some acoustic guitars on the track Catch Me When I Fall. Compared to his past tapes, I think it's a little sweeter on the ears. When I say sweeter, I mean we've got more relationship tracks here, more weed tracks here, tracks about friends and family, all bunched up together with what we're usually hearing from this guy, which are songs about coming up in the rap game, songs about overcoming the adversity of street life. That's when Fashan hits me hardest, and though I don't mind him venturing out into other territory, that's just kind of what he does the best to me. I love the song Do What You Gotta Do, where he talks about just his drive, his determination to make it big and not get caught up in material things or dealing drugs or crime, and he sounds great bragging on a lot of the other tracks too. <laughs> to me this thing is really really front-loaded. I do like the songs at the beginning of this thing a lot more than I do like them in the middle and the end, but you know I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth too much. It's free. Don't take my word for it. Just listen to it yourself. Make your own decision. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, delete it. Like I said, some of the beats here, some of the hooks, but as far as the rhymes go, Fashan to me sounds as hungry and as enthusiastic as ever. I've been listening to some of his old tapes and he really sounds a lot more alive here than he has just two years ago. So I'm feeling a really strong, beefy, heavy ass six. This thing is just uh, 
really all over the place for me, but I still highly respect Fashawn as a rapper, and that is in fact what I like the most about this album, the rhymes. I think if he keeps doing things the way he's doing them, Fashawn has a great future in hip-hop music. I know once his next album drops, which I'm really looking forward to, and I'm hoping based on his first album is going to be great, uh, going to review it, going to review it, going to review it. Uh. <laughs> Anthony Fantano, Fashawn, Higher Learning Volume 2, Forever. Forever.